हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन ऑटो सेंड डेटा ऑन शेड्यूल फ्रॉम गूगल शीट्स टू पैबली कनेक्ट सो वी हैव अ न्यू फीचर इन आवर पैबली कनेक्ट एड ऑन दैट इज ऑटो सेंड डेटा ऑन शेड्यूल सो दिस पर्टिकुलर फीचर विल हेल्प अस इन सेंडिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम आवर गूगल शीट्स टू पैबली कनेक्ट आफ्टर एवरी वन आवर so let us understand this by taking an example that you are a business owner who is using google sheet to maintain your customer records okay you are entering the name email address phone number and other details of your customer and you want to use that uh, th use those customer details for sending a mail or for sending a whatsapp message or for any other reason so you are using some other application for that particular purpose now you want to send that particular data after every one hour for that we have to use this particular feature that is auto send data on schedule so that the data will be captured in every one hour and it will be sent to pabli connect so that you can use that particular data for other future uh, integrations okay so how you can use this particular feature let us learn it on my screen welcome back to my screen here let us type p a b b l y pabli.com in our browser this is the website of pabli Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get 100 task free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the all app section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as auto send data on schedule from Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want to auto send the data on schedule from Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. So we have to just open this trigger window and we have to choose the application name as Google Sheets. In the trigger event, we have to select new or updated row, new or updated spreadsheet row. Now we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Google Sheets account. So I'm just going to copy this webhook URL from here and I'll take you to my Google Sheets. So this is my Google Sheet named customer data and the sheet name is raw file where I have taken the fields for the name, email address and the mobile number of the customer. So if you want to add some more fields, you can just add it over here. Okay. So now we want to create an integration between this particular Google Sheet and Pabli Connect. so that whenever the details are added to this google sheet automatically it is captured in pabli connect for that come to the extensions option click on add ons and click on get add ons now it will take us to google workspace marketplace okay now here we have to search for pabli connect webhooks now you have to install pabli connect webhooks on your system as you can see that it is already installed on my system i'll just close this window Okay but remember after installing Pabli Connect webhooks on your system you have to refresh your Google Sheet I repeat after installing Pabli Connect webhooks on your system you have to refresh your Google Sheet Now once the Google Sheet is refreshed come to extensions and this time we have to move on Pabli Connect webhooks option over here okay we can find Pabli Connect webhooks So we have to just move to Pabli Connect webhooks and click on initial setup Now it is asking for the webhook URL and the trigger column. So the webhook URL will be the webhook URL which we have seen in Pabli Connect. So we will be pasting the same webhook URL over here which we have copied from Pabli Connect. And now it is asking for the trigger column. So the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that root data will be sent to the webhook URL. So as you can see that I have the data from column A till column C. So I want the data to be captured till column C. so my trigger column will be column c over here say if you have the data till column h and you want the data to be captured till column h 
then your trigger column will be uh, column H over here. Okay. Now let's click on send test. Test data sent successfully. Okay. Now let's click on submit. Now again we have to come to extensions, Pavli Connect Webhooks and this time we have to select auto send on schedule option. So why we are selecting this option? Just because whenever we select this option, Pabli Connect is going to capture the response in every one hour. It means Google Sheet will be sending the response after every one hour in Pabli Connect. So make sure you have a tick mark on this particular option that is auto send on schedule. Okay. Say if you are entering the data on a regular basis and you want to send the data to a specific application after one hour only. So this particular option is very helpful for you. Okay. It will be very useful. So uh, let's move back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see the response is received and all the details of the customer are captured over here. Name as Adam Smith, email address and his mobile number. Here we can find the spreadsheet name as well as the sheet name. So now we want this data to be captured in another Google Sheet. Okay. So let's scroll down, come to this action step, choose the application name as Google Sheet once again. So here I am selecting the application name as Google Sheet. You can select the application name as per your requirement. I mean to say that if you want to send a message, you can just choose the Twilio or WhatsApp applications. Or if you want to send a mail, you can choose Gmail or any other application to whom you want to send the data. Okay. So let us select the action event as add new row. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Sheets. Now it is asking me to choose an account in which account I have already created my Google Sheet where I want to take the data. So I'm just choosing my account from here. Pavli Connect Sheets wants additional access to your Google account. So let's click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pavli Connect. Authorization successful. Okay, now the Google Sheets are connected to Pavli Connect. Now as we have created a uh, connection, here we can find all the spreadsheets that we have created in our Google Sheet account. Okay, I'll just open it and here we can find all the spreadsheets name. So we are going to add the data to customer follow up spreadsheet over here. Okay, I'll just show you. So this is my another spreadsheet named customer follow up where I want the data to be captured. That is name, email address and mobile number. So we have to select the same spreadsheet name that is customer follow up and the sheet name that is data over here in Public Connect. So let us select the spreadsheet name and the sheet name is automatically captured over here just because I have created a single sheet in this particular spreadsheet. If you have multiple uh, uh, sheets in this particular spreadsheet, you have to select your sheet name. Now it is asking for the name, email address and mobile number of the customer that needs to be added to this particular Google sheet. So we have already got the details over here from our trigger response. So we will be mapping these details now. Okay, let's map them one by one. First, let us map the name that was Adam Smith. After that, let us map the email address. And at last, let us map the mobile number also. Okay, so we have mapped all the details. Now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the data is added to our Google Sheet. Let's check it. Okay, and here we can find the name as Adam Smith. Email address as adamsmith123 at gmail.com and here we can find his mobile number. Okay. So in this way we can see that our integration is working fine. So whenever you are going to add a data to this particular Google Sheet, all the data will be accumulated and the response will be sent after one hour. Okay. And the details will be added to this particular Google Sheet after one hour only. So we are not going to check this in the real time because we are going to get the response after one hour. Okay. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details of the customer that you have entered in your Google Sheet. And as we have selected this option that is auto send data on schedule in our Google Sheets, the data will be sent to Pabli Connect after every one hour. So if you want to send the data to any other application after one hour, this particular option will be very useful for you. So in this way, we have learned how to auto send data on schedule from Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. 
In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.